Fresh off the Golden Globes and ahead of the Oscars, some films could get a boost at the box office. Eric Childress joins us now for a look at some of those films and which ones would be on your list. Um, well, you're looking at uh, Lincoln has already made you know 150 million dollars at the box office. Got a slight b bump uh, after the Oscar nominations this week. Uh, but a lot of these films, you know, they've been out already. You know, I think the one film that's going to get uh, a bump is probably Silver Linings Playbook because it's finally going to expand to about 2,500 screens this weekend, and you're going to see that one on the wave of eight Oscar nominations. People are going to go, you know, say, "Oh, I haven't seen that one yet," and now it's going to be in more theaters, so people will probably catch up with that one. I was wondering about the Beast of the Southern Wild. It got, I mean, obviously out of Sundance last year there was a lot of praise and then when it opened over the summer it was actually one of sort of the, the bigger art house hits I mean 10 million dollars but that's pretty good for a movie like that um, and then you know it came out on, on DVD and Blu-ray in December and uh, the critics picked up on it and it just sort of you know spilled over to the Oscars and good for it because it's a great movie great movie all right let's mm -hmm. take a look at what happened at the box office last weekend yes. Zero Dark Thirty coming in at number one mm -hmm. Well, we you think this is a low number, right? I think it's, it's a little bit of a low number. I mean, I, I kind of maybe overestimated a little bit when I thought this could be one of the biggest uh, uh, January openings of all time. Uh, but the film is actually only the eighth highest R-rated opening of all time. I mean, there are a couple of horror films. The Underworld films are ahead of it, for Pete's sake. And I'm wondering if the sort of the politics and controversy that we talked about last week is kind of is catching up with it a little bit in a way in that you know obviously there are some people who want to see the movie because ooh we got Bin Laden and whatnot but then there are the, the anti-torture people and whatnot who might be staying away. Also on the list a haunted house coming in at 18 million, Gangster Squad, Django Unchained and Les Mis at nine million dollars mm -hmm. so no surprises there. Not really. Coming out this weekend Broken City which they are advertising like mm -hmm. crazy right now, The Last Stand and Mama which has Jessica Chastain in it. Yeah Oscar nominee Jessica Chastain from Zero Dark Thirty. It's going to be an interesting weekend. I think Zero Dark Thirty might still have enough in the tank to sort of, you know, be number one as you got the Martin Luther King holiday coming up. Um, and I think these three movies could kind of all split. We're going to see if Wahlberg can, you know, parlay that contraband success from last January and get a good number. The return of Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Last Stand, we'll see if he's got any bite. I think that might be the low number this weekend. And the horror movies, Mama, I mean, we saw Texas Chainsaw and whatnot this month that, you know, horror will, you know, people will show up for it in January. So I think Mama might do pretty well. Thanks, Eric. We'll see you next week. Thank you.